Knowledge 2. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised in a narration found in Jami RTMZ number 2645, that when Allah the Exalted desires to give someone good, he provides them with Islamic knowledge. There is no doubt that every Muslim, irrespective of the strength of their faith, desires good in both worlds. Even though many Muslims incorrectly believe that the good they desire lies in fame, wealth, authority, companionship, and their career, this narration makes it crystal clear that true lasting good lies in gaining and acting on Islamic knowledge. It is important to note, a branch of religious knowledge is useful, worldly knowledge whereby one earns lawful provision in order to fulfill their necessities and the necessities of their dependents. Even though the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has pointed out where good lies, yet it is a shame how many Muslims do not place much value in this. They, in most cases, only strive to obtain the bare minimum of Islamic knowledge in order to fulfill their obligatory duties and fail to acquire and act on more such as the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Instead they dedicate their efforts to worldly things, believing true good is found there. Many Muslims fail to appreciate that the righteous predecessors had to journey for weeks on end just to learn a single verse or narration of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, whereas today, one can study Islamic teachings without leaving their home. Yet, many fail to make use of this blessing given to the modern-day Muslims. Out of his infinite mercy Allah, the Exalted, through his holy prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has not only pointed out where true good lies, but he has also placed this good at one's fingertips. A Muslim must not be fooled into believing that Islamic knowledge only explains how to perform rituals and what is unlawful and lawful. In reality, it teaches people how to adopt the correct attitude and behavior so that they use all the worldly blessings they have been granted correctly so that they benefit themselves and others in both worlds thereby achieving peace of mind and success in both worlds. The only one who can teach this to mankind is the one who created and knows all things namely Allah, the Exalted. Therefore, prioritizing gaining and acting on worldly knowledge over religious knowledge is not wise. Allah, the Exalted, has informed mankind of where an eternal buried treasure is located which can solve all the problems they may encounter in both worlds. But Muslims will only obtain this good once they struggle to acquire and act on it. This in turn will lead to peace and success in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.